So if you failed with NoFap recently and you're trying to figure out how to get back, get back on the saddle and keep on riding this thing to the, the porn recovery mastery journey, these are three tips that if you get these things right, it'll change the way, I promise you it'll change the way that you view pornography and your habit with this thing and your relationship with it. Starting with number one, relapse versus a slip. This is a very important thing for you to know, especially if you've relapsed recently. So a relapse and a slip, basically the defining factor is really more psychological and mental rather than definitive, okay? So a relapse is usually when somebody uh, has a longer period of time of abstaining from porn masturbation and then slips up, you know, finds himself knee deep in a porn session, goes down that rabbit hole, acts out, and the response to it is usually a tremendous amount of guilt, shame, depression, and trying to cope with those experience, those emotions with more pornography, and therefore leading into spiraling, spiraling out of control, usually for weeks, days, months, even of just being okay with not having your sexual integrity and just relapsing over and over. A slip is a mental decision that this was a one-time thing and I'm not going to spiral out of control. I'm gonna get back on the saddle and I'm gonna keep riding. The defining factor is really up to you. The way that you respond to these uh, relapses or slips is defines how big the relapse is and this is what I'm gonna cover in number two, all right? This is a very important analogy that I teach uh, in my mentoring is that your porn recovery journey is climbing a mountain. It's a big old mountain. It's a huge, big old mountain, okay? We're all on this journey on this mountain. Some of us are at the very bottom. Some of us are in the middle. Some of us have found our way at the very top of it, but it's a very slippery slope. I'll talk about that in a second. So this mountain, along the way, you're gonna have little bumps in the road, little little, little ditches here and there that you're gonna have to figure out how to get out of, okay? That's a relapse. The thing to know about this is the size of that ditch, the size of that, that little bump in the road can be as small as a tiny little pebble that you can just bounce right over, or it can be as giant as a, a, a enormous ditch that you're digging for yourself, or it can be as big as a valley in some cases when you're re really relapsing and you've totally given up, okay? This is important because you have an opportunity, my friends. When you do slip up, you have an opportunity to say, okay, I did really good for a few months. I did really good for a few weeks. This was a one-time thing. I do not need to go ahead and binge watch porn for the rest of the year or for the rest of the month or weekend, okay? You can look at this as an opportunity as it was a one-time thing. I'm gonna get back on the saddle, I'm gonna keep riding. Your progress is not lost. That's a really important mindset sh mind shift change. Your progress is not lost if you slip up. But if you relapse and decide to not learn something from your experience, then my friends, you're, you're digging an entire valley for yourself that you're gonna have to go all the way down and all the way up again just to find yourself back at square one, okay? So that's climbing this mountain. I talk a lot about this mountain analogy. It, it goes way, way deeper than just this. So be sure to subscribe if you want to hear me talk more about this. And then number three, all right, this is the one that I know you guys don't want me to don't want me to tell you is that you got to tell somebody. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not saying that you should tell your your partner or your wife or your parents or the, those people closest to you. In many cases, that's those are the people that you should tell. But many times those people are not the best accountability partners. What I often say is that spouses, people closest to us, don't make the best accountability partners because they don't really understand us. They don't understand the issue. They haven't been through it themselves in most cases. So what I'm saying is it's helpful to tell somebody. And the reason how telling somebody is important is because as soon as you do, then you're gonna send a very strong psychological uh, signal to yourself and to your habit and your relationship with porn. This strong signal says that I'm serious about this. I'm serious about this relapse. This is not gonna be me spiraling out of control. This is gonna be me taking control and deciding to learn from something from this experience. And when you tell somebody, that strong signal will tell you that things business is not as usual and things are changing and things are gonna get better, all right? So once you tell somebody, you have somebody in your life. If you think, oh, there's no one I can tell about this. It's it's too dark. I'm too I'm too deep in this. I've I've you know, no. You have someone you can tell. Okay. Why? Because you can tell me. Even that in itself, let me know in the comments. Tell me. Or you can email me. Go to my website, benuyama.com. 
uh, benuyama.com. You can email me there. I'll respond to you. Tell somebody, and I promise you, it'll bring a little bit of accountability into your life, a little bit of mind sh- shift change, because you got to stop b- battling it in your mind. The reason you keep it in your mind and just within yourself is because you're trying to keep the habit with you. I know this. I know you guys. I've been here. I know the psychological battles we go through. You're trying to keep the habit with you, and you may not realize it, but you're not really, if you're really going to get serious about this, it really takes with a little bit of accountability. accountability. You're going to have to tell somebody about the habit, all right? So if that's you, I would encourage you to stick around on this channel. I'm going to put this video right here that I think you'll find very helpful in your journey. It's really good to have you. Thanks for watching. Take care.